So here we have the first item in our collection that we're going to show you, which is the Leet book. Um, it's dated from 1421 to 1555. The reason why it's called the Leet book is it's derivative from the word elite. It's where record, important events such as court records, um, but also royal visits were happening in Coventry. And these were recorded throughout that period. So the pages that we have on display are when uh, Margaret of Anjou, Queen Margaret, visited Coventry on the 28th of August, 1456. Um, so you can see here that we've got the translation um, and this is where um, people were paying their respects to the Queen when she was visiting Coventry. And we also have a medieval tile which is representative of uh, one of the tiles that might have been in St Mary's Priory of that time from our handling collection. So the second item we have on display is a letter written by Charles II. It's actually dated the 18th of August 1662, just after the end of the Civil War. Um, for those of you not familiar, the English Civil War was a series of armed conflicts between 1642 and 1651. Charles II actually decreed that the castle and the city walls would be demolished in retrospect of Coventry's participation in the Civil War. And in the letter that we have here, this is from Charles II to the Earl of Northampton um, and his Deputy Lieutenant in Warwickshire, who's actually uh, describing about how, as the walls have been demolished, Charles Moore Manor House that he still held, it was still held within the royal household, part of that manor house wall had actually been destroyed as well. So he's explaining to his Lieutenant please can you fix this for me? But it was actually written by his scribe, Will Morris, and he has signed it Charles R at the top of the page. We do have a transcription of the letter, which I'll read part of. It says, Right trusty and right well beloved cousin, we greet thee well. By the humble petition of Sir Robert Townsend, that in demolishing the walls of our city of Coventry, part thereof being offence to our manor house, of Charles Moor, a park, the pulling down thereof have down a part of the said house. We have thought fit to give a grant so that the said Robert Townsend, all of the stone of the said walls that lies upon our ground there for and towards the re-edifying of the said house and making up the mounds. So this is the third item that we have to show you in our archive collection. It's something called Beck's Inventory, and it's from a trial that took place on the 24th of March, 1832. Josiah Beck was an inventive engineer and manufacturer, and he'd installed the first steam engine at his ribbon mill. So it was a hard time for weavers in Coventry in 1831. Uh, the weaving industry was built on single hand looms, um, mostly worked by individuals in cottages with their homes on the first floor and a single loom upstairs. When people found out about Josiah Beck and his new invention, um, they started to get very angry. A crowd of between two and 500 converged at Beck's top shop at the end of Beck's yard off new buildings, um, shouting and beating on the door. And this is actually now the Nando's in Coventry, for those of you who might not be familiar. Um, the angry mob stormed Josiah Beck's property. Beck managed to escape. Eventually his house was set on fire and three men were arrested overnight. A trial took place on the 24th of March, 1832, and this document, known as Beck's Inventory, was provided to the court to highlight the property that Josiah Beck had lost. It also provides an insight into a manufacturer's family's wardrobe and pantry, and even their garden, describing the trees that he had lost. The original sentence for the three men was death, but through petitioning, this was altered to transportation to the colonies, probably to the Americas. The fourth and final item is the schedule of air raid damaged properties. The night of the bombing of Coventry on Thursday the 14th of November 1940 is well remembered in Coventry history. The bombing started around 7.20 in the evening and went on till 6.50 in the morning. and this is one of a series of 37 schedule of air raid damage properties that we have that are based around the 37 ward districts around Coventry. 
So at the front here, you can see that this gives a summary of the, the houses totally destroyed and some that needed repair within that particular area. And then they are listed by street name in alphabetical order of all the houses that were destroyed. These were actually compiled by members of staff within the city architects department and it must have been quite an undertaking um, from that fateful night on the 14th of November 1940. We also have another schedule for the other largest air raid which was the 8th and 9th of April 1941. So this is from our handling collection, it's an incendiary bomb. This would not have exploded when it landed, it would have just caught fire. And if you can imagine that several of these would have guided a pilot to show where the bombs needed to be dropped. 